So up to now, we have looked at getting paid by the hour, getting paid by a whole year, so an annual salary. And the next step is to calculate how we get paid or take a look at how people get paid by each piece of work they do. So that's where the piece comes in. So piecework means you get paid for every piece of work you do. For example, um, some companies that do tree planting are paid, the people that tree plant are paid for every tree that they plant, and that's called piecework. Uh, locally, the Van Trites, or now I guess called Longview Farms, they um, pay their daffodil pickers in the spring by the piece, by the box that they pick. So one box has a certain price. If you help your neighbor mowing lawns, it would often be by piecework. So $35 for the lawn, and I do it every Friday. That's called piecework. Washing windows, there's companies that come around and offer to clean windows and that's generally done by the piece. So for every window there is a cost. In um, another industry altogether, sewing garments, that is a piecework industry. So you get paid for every piece of work that you sew. So there are advantages and disadvantages to piecework. If you are a fast worker and have had a lot of experience doing um, this job, for example, if you've done many years of tree planting or picking daffodils, you'll get very fast at it and there is a potential to make a lot of money. If you are fast at the work. But the disadvantage is if you're just starting off and are slow, you could work many, many hours and not get paid very much. So it means the disadvantage is the, is the opposite of this, is you make a small amount of money if you are inexperienced or just learning the job. Uh, another advantage is that you could get, if you're fast at the work, you can um, do quite a bit of make quite a bit of money in a very short amount of time because the amount of time you spend has nothing to do with how you get paid. So, advantage is that you can work shorter hours if you are an efficient. worker. You only get paid for the work you do. So let's talk about Amy who works in the garment industry and she gets, she hems uh, dresses and skirts and puts waistbands in. So this is piecework. She make, gets paid $1.50 for each hem and $2.25 for each waistband. How much does she earn by hemming 20 dresses and 15 waistbands? So let's itemize this. For the hems, she makes $1.50 each hem times 20, hem, 20 dresses that she hems. And that works out to be $30. Now for the waistbands, She makes a bit more, $2.25, and she make, does 15 of them. And that works out to be $33.75. So her total earnings are $63.75. Now, is that a lot? Well, that depends on whether or not she spent a lot of time or a little time on this. So imagine if she spent one hour on this work. I think you can agree that if she made $63.75, that would be $63.75 per hour. That would be a pretty high wage. And I would say, yeah, she's paid a lot for that. But what if she is slow and it takes her a long time to do all those hems and waistbands and it takes her the whole day and she works 
eight hours that day. So if it takes her eight hours, then that salary, which is 36.75 divided by eight, works out to be $7.97 an hour. So I think you would argue that's below minimum wage. So Amy is paid by piecework. However, piecework can be lucrative or make a lot of money or a little money, but it depends on how much time you spend on the job. So let's take another example of piecework. Jack who cleans windows and he charges $3 for the ground floor and $5.50 for a second story window. Um, and he, how much would he earn by cleaning the front of this house? And what should he consider when setting his price? So if let's say he, taking a look at this picture, he has three, well actually only two ground floored windows. Let's assume that this one little round one doesn't need cleaning and nor do the sides of the, the door. So he does two windows at the front of the house. And so there's two windows. And each of these are paid $3. So that's a $6 that he makes for washing the bottom windows. He charges a little bit more for the top floor windows because he has to get the ladder out. So again, I take counting how many windows he has on the top floor. There are three times the rate he charges, which is $5.50 and three times five fifty is sixteen dollars and fifty cents. So the total he would charge for washing the front of this house is twenty two dollars and fifty cents. Now if he could do that in an hour, that would actually not be a bad rate. But if it's awkward to put the ladder up and reach those top floors, um, and it takes them way longer than that $22.50 um, is not a very high wage. So what should he consider when setting the price is the time it will take to do the job. If he's spending many, many hours at the job, then maybe he should increase his rate to accommodate that.